I was a very supportive friend our entire friendship this whole narrative that she made up that I was ever rude to her is completely false everybody around me knew how much I tolerated with this girl because I was so scared for us to fall out which is exactly what is happening what just happened when when I quit being her friend what's happening this chain of events she goes on the internet she makes it a huge story like it's not a huge story. I will literally insert the text messages from when we quit talking, what I said. I had a whole conversation with her. I explained to her, I said, look, I can't deal with this shit no more, period. It wasn't no, oh, you're a bitch and fuck you. We never fell out in that type of way. So the fact that she's even going this hard, making up all these lies, trying to bring up petty shit and like d misconstrue situations, misconstrue situations um this is from april 16th when um after gabby made a youtube video about me and i texted her um because a why <clears throat> is gabby making a youtube video mentioning me i don't even know the girl I really don't think you want me making a video about every reason that accumulated to me and following you and distancing myself from you. That was a bad call to have your sister do that. This is one of the exact reasons why I had to stop fucking with you. She said, what are you talking about? I said, oh, okay, you're playing dumb. Yes, I'll just make a video too so you understand. She said, dumb. Whatever Gabby has done, does has nothing to do with me. I, have, I just screenshot your text to her and she didn't even speak ill on you. You're mad because you unfollowed us. And she is responding to people asking her constantly why neither I nor her have spoken ill of you. And if you feel the need to make a video about me, go ahead and do that. That's your business because I'll sleep well at night. I was a good person to you, but you won't sleep well at night knowing being shitty to those who don't deserve it. I was, <clears throat> I was never shitty to you ever. When there was plenty of opportunities for me to be upset with you, I give you a lot of chances when you showed red flags. I really stuck around because I felt you were a good person inside and just had some issues. I wasn't trying to give up on you as a friend. I made the choice to unfollow you when things continued to be the same. I didn't see you trying to change any of the ways that were honestly just flat out not healthy for me to be around. I told you after that studio incident, I wouldn't stop being your friend as long as you weren't doing out of pocket shit like that. But she continued and I had to distance myself. On top of that, I have been trying to distance myself from being dc for a few years now and you capitalize off of that show and still are heavily involved you act funny when you acted funny when i didn't want to do the podcast like i haven't done how many youtube's video with you that was weak as fuck you weren't supportive of my decision you and your sister talk every day i know y'all talked about that video before she posted so cut the bullshit it's a time that she's she that she has also talked about saying that i was like um telling her that she wasn't crazy and that she needed to seek help i didn't never come at her like that at all i literally had a conversation with her one day when we were at my house we're sitting on my couch and keep in mind i see a therapist well not right now but i see a therapist when i'm going through my episodes of depression and stuff i seek help because i am aware that my brain has a chemical imbalance i'm aware that you have to take self-care steps in order to flourish in life like that's just what it is i've never hidden the fact that i have anxiety i have never hidden the fact that i have depression i was diagnosed with bpd while me and danny were friends which she also has tried to throw out there and expose me for it's not a secret nobody is perfect i'm not perfect i'm not ashamed of anything that i go through because i know that there are thousands and millions of people that go through exactly the same thing as me and i have no problem using my platform platform to be a person of example that everything is not as perfect as it seems besides the point when I address Danny about the therapist I said look I'm your friend I care about you I'm worried about you have you ever thought about seeing a therapist like I feel like it could really benefit you immediately she got extremely defensive and I was like look you don't need to get defensive keep in mind I was always walking on eggshells with this girl because she blows the fuck up makes everything into she's a victim and oh my god how could you say this to me i was like look i'm not coming at you like that you don't need to get defensive i care about you i love you as a friend i just want you to get some help because i was noticing characteristic after characteristic that really is not fucking healthy or sane like it's insane incident at the studio which i'm gonna insert receipts i'm gonna insert the next day text messages everything danny meets this guy in my building okay this random ass guy she's like hey i met this guy leaving your building i'm gonna go to his house i'm gonna drink with him i'm like go the fuck ahead please please because at this at the end of the day she has no guys that talk to her nobody wants to date her because she's insane all she does is play victim she acts crazy she blows the fuck up it's insane so whatever i have a freaking